So let's start up here by going to System Preferences. I just clicked the little Apple System Preferences. Now I'm going to want to click on Displays. First thing you need to know, if you don't see this Arrangement tab, that means that the computer only knows about one display. So you're going to have to figure out why that is. Maybe you've got a bad cable, maybe something's not plugged in, maybe something's not turned on, I don't know. But you've got to start there. Click on the Arrangement tab once you've got that sorted out. And you'll notice that when I click on this, you'll see a red outline here, but you'll also see a red outline around the perimeter of the actual screen you're watching. See that? It does that with these other screens. You'll notice that I have four. You really only need two unless you're using stage display, then you need three. So one, two, three. Now you only saw it on this one because this is the one that's recording. You should also notice that this white bar is what the main screen is and that can be dragged to either of the other screens if you wanted to. I'm not going to go through that. Uh, also make sure mirror displays is unchecked here. So remember I have a screen to the left. We're going to make that into the stage display. I have a screen to the right. We're going to make that into the main output stage display on the left, main output. And these can be dragged around to where they make more sense to you, by the way, but keep in mind which screen is which. Now, let's go into ProPresenter and ProPresenter Preferences, which I can go to by clicking on the word ProPresenter 6 and going down to Preferences, or Command Comma will take me there as well. Now, I normally it would start up here, but it will uh, display is where we want to go and now you'll see the word output this control screen and SD again ignore this one I've got an extra because I actually have four screens that I'm using but you don't need that so I told you that I wanted the stage display over here and I wanted the output over here how do I do that it's really simple I click and I drag and you'll notice that it pops over to the opposite one. If it didn't, if it popped over here, no big deal, just drag it. So just drag it until it's what you want it to be, and then you're good to go. If output or stage display was on the one that is your control screen, then when you enable that, it would take over that screen. So that's basically all there is 